In this video, we will learn how depreciation works in car value. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice using the exponential decay formula to model how the value of a purchased good, like a car, can decrease over time due to depreciation. Depreciation is the reduction in value of a product with the passage of time due to wear and tear. Items that you purchase can depreciate the longer that you have and use it such as a laptop, a car, or a building. Not all products depreciate at the same rate all the time. For example, your new smartphone may depreciate more in the earlier months, but overall, depreciation can be modeled using exponential decay functions. The formula for exponential decay is similar to exponential growth, but instead of a growth factor, we will use a decay factor. We have y equals a times b is the x power, where y is the total, a is the initial amount, b tells us the rate at which something is decaying, and the exponent of x tells us how many years. Let's try this example. A new car was sold six years ago for $30,000. If the car depreciates on average at a rate of 11% annually, how much is the value of the car today? The first step we can do is to identify our variables and substitute them into the formula. For exponential decay equations, we need to use the initial amount, decay rate, and amount of years. Our initial value is 30,000, so I will plug that in for A. Our decay rate, B, actually requires a couple of steps here. We know that our depreciation rate is 11%, so we can subtract 100% to represent our whole initial amount, minus the depreciation rate of 11%. Note that we are subtracting from 100 here because we're measuring decay. This gives us 89% as our decay rate. In our equation, we must use decimal form. So 89% written as a decimal is 0.89. The last variable to plug in is the exponent of x, which we know is six years. Now that we have accurately identified and substituted our variables into the formula, we can now use order of operations to calculate. According to order of operations, we must first carry out the exponent, so we can just drop and keep the 30,000 for now. 0.89 raised to the sixth power is equal to 0.4969813. In order to get the most accurate value, I will round at the end of my calculations to the nearest whole dollar. The last operation I have is multiplication, so we can multiply 30,000 and 0.4969813, which gives us 14,909.4387. This means that the car that was valued at $30,000 six years ago has depreciated to a value of about $14,909 after six years. This is why it's important to keep depreciation in mind when you are selling or buying used items. All right, here's a recap on calculating exponential decay. First, you must correctly identify and substitute the variables that you need, in this case, initial principal, decay rate, and time in years. Remember to convert your percent to a decimal when looking at your decay rate. Then you can use order of operations to carry out exponents first multiplication next. Finally, you can frame your solution in the context of the problem, seeing how the value of your car can decrease over time due to depreciation. Go ahead and pause the video here to try this practice problem. Your DSLR camera cost $725 at retail value two years ago. After wear and tear, the camera has a depreciation rate on average of 12% annually. If you sold it now, what would be the value of the camera be today? Great work on learning how to calculate exponential decay and depreciation. Continue on to the practice problems on your worksheet. You got it. 